I don't want a divorce. We have kids. Our kids love him. Our kids need him. I don't want to leave my husband. I just want more of what he can't or won't give me. If I mention to him that I will be starting an extramarital relationship, that's not an affair, right? What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, Reddit Relationships. Affair? Open Marriage? Divorce? Relationships. Things have got to change. My husband and I have been married seven years, and for at least the last two years, we have been miserable. My husband, male, 40-year-old, doesn't really want to change the dynamics of our relationship. Meaning he doesn't want to put forth any work. I am female, 29-year-old, past my breaking point on the scale of how miserable and unloved I feel. We don't fight. We just aren't happy. My husband is my husband is unhappy with himself, his shortcomings, failures with his adult daughter. He is unhappy with his appearance, but does nothing to change it. His health is declining, but he won't start making healthier choices. He says work stresses him out, but he won't make a career change. Even though I've offered nothing but support, I've suggested therapy, both couples and therapy just for himself, and he won't even consider it. I don't want a divorce. We have kids. Our kids love him. Our kids need him. We co-parent well together. We are a good team. We are good roommates. We just aren't working right now romantically, mostly because too tired and depressed to prioritize our relationship. So I'm sitting here considering my options. I'm on the verge of having an affair. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. This is how you solve it, right? Honestly, I've been having an emotional affair for years. Whenever my husband and I fight, I turn to my longtime friend and college lover, male 28. He listens to me. He makes me feel loved and supported. We didn't work as a couple before because of long distance. For these matters, long distance might work. I've read extensively about affairs actually saving marriages, having a don't ask, don't tell policy. We've kind of talked about it before, but in the middle of a fight, and he said, well, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, which led me to believe that if I start some kind of relationship outside of our marriage, then don't be upset if he does as well. Although he has repeatedly stated that he doesn't have time for a relationship, more or less another one. I don't want to leave my husband. I just want more of what he can't or won't give me. If I mention to him that I will be starting an extramarital relationship, that's not an affair, right? The don't ask, don't tell policy really seems to be the best. Outside of the kids, we lead such different lives. I frequently take trips with and without the kids, and he honestly wouldn't know, and I am certain wouldn't care if I was already having an affair. His job and friends are more of the priority. To sum everything up, how do I ask my husband for an open marriage, or should I just start the relationship I want to be in and hope he understands if he discovers it? Wow. Hope he understands if he discovers it. You guys see how they have, they don't care about men. She married this man because she wanted stability. She wanted the support he provides and all that stuff. It had nothing to do with love. Just, just throw that whole love thing out the window. Your husband is depressed. He's beating himself up. And you're just looking at him like, well, you're a man. Do something about it. You're his wife. Help him. Help him. This man is depressed. He, his job is kicking his butt. 
You guys know how many Americans or how many people in the world are just going through? They, they're at a job they don't like. They're in a career they don't like. And they're miserable and they feel stuck. And a lot, a lot of men are in that situation. You know why? I am a true believer in finding out what you want to do first. Finding yourself first. Discovering your purpose. Do what you want. Get to where you want to be in life. And if you want to go jump in a relationship, get married, then do it. But a lot of people do it really early. And they get stuck at these jobs that they don't want to be at. But if they, they can't just quit, they have kids. They have a wife that's saying, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. And you beat yourself up, man. Then all of a sudden, you're this old man. You look back on your life. What did I accomplish? Did I do the things I wanted to do when I was a kid? When I dreamed of doing this and that, did I pursue those things or did I give up after I got married? Seriously. And he's going through that and she's looking at him like, I want, I want, I want. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. Give it to me. You don't love this man. He can't give you something. What did I just say yesterday? I just did a story. Guys, if they can't get it from the man, the story where the lady came crawling back and she wanted her tires fixed, so she called her ex-boyfriend. Her man couldn't do what she felt he needed, so she went to another man to do it. And this is what this woman is doing. My husband's not hitting it right, so I want another man to do it. And then come to find out she's been having an affair for years. For years. Woman... You're a piece of crap. Your husband needs to divorce you and improve his life. He needs to divorce you, hit the gym, pick another career, work his way up the ladder, whatever he wants to do. He needs to do it. Guys, it's not getting married and that's the end all be all. It's not. Or you're going to end up stuck doing something you don't want to do, taking care of someone who doesn't even truly love you. Let's check out these comments. My husband doesn't prioritize our relationship. By the way, I'm having an affair. Right. <laughs> Thank you. An open marriage involves buy-in from both people. Telling your spouse you're going to have an affair does not is not how the open marriage works. You're simply telling him you're going to sleep with other people and he appears to be retaliating by saying he'll do the same thing, which appears to make you uncomfortable. Mm, yep. You know she'll get mad if you start sleeping with somebody else. Here she is, OP. I did suggest therapy. I also mentioned in, his, in the post, he has his own issues that's preventing him from being happy. I've suggested therapy on a weekly basis for himself and together for two years. He won't even consider it. He absolutely has zero desire to devote time to anything other than his job. Honestly, at this point, I wouldn't care if he slept with someone if it made him happy. She's lying. She, say that, she says that now until he does it. He doesn't want a divorce. He agreed that he is miserable, but he doesn't want a divorce. What you need to do is start setting some boundaries. We go to couples counseling or we separate. It would be a good way to start. Let him know you deserve some of his time too or you plan to walk away. Right now, you suggested and there is no reason for him to go. And guys, and I'm not all for neglecting your partner on either side. Man neglecting his wife, wife neglecting her husband. I don't believe in that. If you're going to decide to be together, you know, don't neglect each other. But if he's clearly going through something, isn't it in, in, in vows that she promises to be there for him, to help him out? You know, he's down and, and your 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 for it is to sleep with another man that you've been already been having having an affair with. It's ridiculous. Ma'am, it doesn't matter if he does not want a divorce. What matters is that it sounds like you have both fallen out of love with each other. Here's OP. I disagree. I love my husband and I think he loves me, but he doesn't have the time, energy, or desire to show that he loves me. Wow. 
There's a big difference with loving someone and being in love with them. And like I said, you and your husband have fallen out of love. Here's OP again. I still don't agree. I love my husband. I want my marriage to work, but I need more from him that he can't and won't give me. You want your marriage to work? You are talking about having an affair, ma'am. Your husband has depression and needs help. Thank you. If you are serious about staying with him, then take him to the doctor, get him some antidepressants, and of course, CBT. I think you may benefit from a course of this tube, to be honest, and work on improving his motivation. Here's OP again. I can't make him go to the doctor. I've suggested he go repeatedly. I've scheduled him several appointments that he just didn't show up for, and I had to pay the no-show fee. A year ago, we were hitting the same wall. I was near offing myself. I was so freaking miserable. I told him then that it was either therapy or divorce. I made an appointment with the therapist. He didn't show, but things got better. He was less absent, at least with the kids. I went on antidepressants. Things were manage manageable for a while, but the same old habits are sneaking up. Or maybe they've always been there, but the antidepressants masked and clouded my feelings and discontentment. For a long time, I thought that I could bring enough love into the marriage for the both of us. But I'm starting to realize that it is draining and, in and exhausting and leaving me feeling alone, unworthy, and unloved. Having an affair doesn't mean I don't love my husband or want my marriage to work. I don't want to be married to anyone else. My potential boyfriend lover could never give me what my husband has. He could never replace my husband. He will never be able to financially support me like my husband is what she's saying, guys. He could never be my husband, but he could bring me joy and happiness. He could show me love, affection, and romance. Hmm. Yeah, guys, all she's saying there is this guy cannot financially take care of me, but he will F the crap out of me. He will break my back. He will hit every spot I want him to hit, unlike my husband. But I, I will never marry him. No, I'll sleep with him. Oh, ridiculous. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Let's check out another story. All right. Let's see. Best way to bring up an open marriage. My husband and I have been together for 11 years, married for one. I was 19 when I moved to another country for him, and we have been together ever since. I love him so much, and we just work great together. That being said, I was very young and haven't really had the opportunity to experiment much, which I find it to be extremely constraining. I am a very sexual person and I have so many fantasies that I want to experience and there are certain people I desperately want to sleep with and have a casual relationship with. My husband will always be number one, but I just need to release this creature that wants to come out and play. I don't know how he'll take it and I really need some advice for, for how to formulate it without making him feel like he's not enough. Wow. Hmm. 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 Were these creatures living inside these women before they got married? Like all of a sudden they're married and then these creatures come out, come inside of them and they just, oh, I got, I need multiple men. And guys, she's admitting what we all say here. If she's asking for an open marriage, she's already cheating or she's got someone lined up. She's got someone lined up. She said it. I, there's a number of people. There's a, there's some there's some people she fantasizes about. Let's check. She posted this five days ago. Let's just see what other posts she's got. Okay, no, oh, she has some older posts. She has a confessions post. Let's check that out. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. Yeah, I, twenty nine year old female, desperately want to deflower my forty year old male virgin friend. Wow. He wants to take advantage of this 40 year old virgin. <laughs> so my husband and I have this friend that I work with. 
I see him as a charming, intelligent guy, but just has an awful self-esteem. He doesn't dare to try and meet women. He's a tall, skinny guy, and I just know he's hiding a huge sausage in his pants. I know he's into me, and it makes me so darn... It makes me feel so good knowing I could easily have my way with him if I wanted to. Every time we're hanging out, I do a subtle thing to show my interest. I sit or stand close to him and run my fingers down his back. I press my chest against him when we hug. If I'm ever alone with him, I don't think I'll be able to stop myself from getting it in with him. I just want to put my hand on his thigh. I just want to touch him where it's a tease, but still makes him feel good. When he's nice and hard, okay, we're okay, okay, guys, um, you guys saw the title. You, you guys got the title, right? You guys can follow that if you want to read this confession she has. I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to stop it right there. All right, so she, they have this friend. She wants to bang this guy. She wants to take advantage of this guy. He's a shy guy. Her husband has no idea. And she doesn't. She wants to cheat on her husband. I'm pretty sure she's cheated already. But let's just say she hasn't. It's going to happen. She's going to sleep with that guy. Maybe she'll blame it on the alcohol. Who knows? She's going to sleep with somebody else. I can only hope that the husband dips out on her and leaves her and divorces her because uh, this woman's a piece of crap. This woman's, ugh. It's a creature inside of me. I need to release it. A horny self. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. She's asking for an open marriage. There's someone else lined up. I'll catch you guys at the next one.